Hi everyone from Padre Island, Texas. Today I'm going to talk about how to gain your freedom, how to know if you are living in quiet desperation. Once you know this, you cannot unlearn it. I always say that knowing is everything because knowledge will raise your consciousness. This means that you are deliberately changing your own DNA. And just by knowing that we can change our DNA with knowledge raises our consciousness. Human maturity is distinctively marked by a raised consciousness. Knowledge causes human transition into maturity. Basically, you were born and introduced into a life with guides or your parents who were unable to give you all the things that perhaps you needed that they did not have themselves. Your brain was being systematically imprinted with concepts that would serve you badly in life until you woke up and made the changes yourself. You were taught lack rather than abundance and gratitude for everything you had, whether it was material possessions or emotional qualities. You were taught fear rather than compassion and generosity to others who were different from you and required further knowledge to understand it. You were taught chaos rather than focus and peace of mind that conditioned you to feel comfortable around high-strung neurotics. You were taught addictions rather than response, ability, and problem-solving that conditioned you to choose bad habits when life got rough. 87% of the world's population is unhappy. This is the number of humans who are living in quiet desperation. You are not alone. I was one as well. This planet's population is nearly 8 billion. This indicates that 8 billion plus the entire past population in all of man's history were born. All these babies who were cared for, held close, protected, clothed, bathed, fed, given playthings, and told I love you, were initially imprinted and given the one thing that their guides possessed in great abundance. Do you know what that was? Compassion. This is a deliberate emotion of choice. Babies are shown compassion in abundance. Compassion is the highest form of energy on the planet. Compassion commands us to be caring, generous, mentoring, rescuing, and loving. Raised consciousness comes from deliberately discarding everything that does not serve us to become the best version of ourselves. Our consciousness becomes higher consciousness when sacrificing our old self for becoming recreated by a new awareness of compassion intelligence or emotional intelligence. From infancy to adulthood, we outgrow our focus on our imprinted compassion and love, and we replace it with all the knowledge of distractions. These distractions pollute our mind, body, and spirit. Eight billion humans choked by so much mental, physical, and spiritual pollution that our toxic symptom is quiet desperation. Quiet desperation is a feeling of living in a cage. Quiet desperation is knowing that your job, your relationships, your lifestyle, even your ego and happiness is all a trap to prevent your true freedom. When you choose freeing yourself from everything that you were not born with, think about this, then in an instance or an instant, 
you transition into a greater awareness known as higher consciousness. It matters. This means that choosing a higher consciousness unleashes you from all the mental, physical, and spiritual baggage that causes you to feel caged and trapped by it all. You now become what you choose. You now become what you choose by focusing on your self-worth. You are choosing a higher consciousness to value yourself not by what you have and can give or what you can say and do. No. Your self-worth is valued by one measurement. You exist. Once you are dead, there is no need for self-worth. When you were born, your value was your existence. Who convinced you otherwise? And how early in life did your self-worth become determined by what you could say and do? Or by what you had and could give? Your living in quiet desperation was planned for you. Someone else planned your life in a cage for you. This world system of lack, fear, and chaos was ready to trap you every which way you turned. Keep your possessions. Keep your job, relationships, your lifestyle, and ways of thinking. And keep yourself in the 87% of the world's unhappy population until you choose this one thing, higher consciousness. Your existence is the only thing that matters for you to experience happiness. Your existence is the only priority. You are the only you ever created. Instantly your life feels superior and conquered. Your whole world looks abundant and peaceful. You placed yourself on the forefront of thought and it worked. You know you are important to you. Only you matter. Now you will see and understand all others the way you see and understand yourself. They matter because you matter. Happiness will never elude you again. Your happiness comes from your own self-worth. Your self-worth is measured by your existence. You own your worthiness all of your life now.